liking it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Today was professional development day, so no kids, so it was a little less stressful than <laughs> normal, but so far so good. Let's uh, let's talk about basketball. Obviously, some <laughs> high expectations for this team. How has the team kind of reacted to where the coaches have been ranked in the preseason and uh, with that first post voting? Yeah, I mean, right now it's just a preseason voting. Obviously, uh, we have a lot of work left to do, and at the end of the season, we have, we want to be ranked number one as well. So, uh, a lot of work left to do. Uh, just kind of buying into what the coaches are saying, what's going on, uh, really focusing on us and not getting too, too caught up in the rankings and what has come out so far. Was there anything in the offseason that you felt you know you wanted to work on more and what you think you've improved on heading into this season? I think just being able to handle the ball and facilitate as well, uh, not just be, being a scorer or a defender, but also being able to distribute the ball on offense uh, to my teammates because they can knock down shots and they do a good job of getting me the ball as well. So just kind of being able to handle the ball against pressure uh, so Emily doesn't always have to do it or uh, facilitating the ball to someone who may be open can knock down an open shot. Coach Ben was just kind of comparing this squad to some of the the top squads he had in the past. Does he bring that up with you guys and say, you know, you can achieve what they did? Yeah, I mean, he talks a lot about the past, but uh, that was in the past, and we obviously have to create our own path, and so uh, we need to focus on what what they kind of paved before us and kind of use that to help us as we continue forward and focusing on ourselves. What does having Danae healthy um, mean to you guys? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, she obviously started the season off really well last year, kind of got injured, uh, and obviously it's hard when you can get you get injured like that. She had to sit out, uh, but just seeing her back in it, um, practicing, competing, and I think she'll bring a lot to this team. Preseason expectations and you coming back for another year, is that kind of lining up with this is kind of the goal now to be that number one team? Yeah, obviously every year we come into it, we want to be the number one team. Uh, the rankings don't always show that at the beginning, but at, uh, those don't matter as much. It's what happens throughout the season and what happens at the end. If we have a tough game, are we going to bounce back or are we going to give up? And uh, that's just, we have to find out who we are and uh, kind of use that to help us. With how much you guys have built that up over the past couple of seasons, is there less pressure because of that success you've already had now? Um, I mean, I guess I don't really <laughs> feel any pressure ever. Uh, you just kind of block it all out. Um, when you step on the court, it's you, your teammates, and nobody else. Um, I mean, the fans, they bring energy, and that helps us a lot. But when you're on the court, it's what you've done in practice. It kind of just becomes uh, repetition. Like, you don't think, you're just out there playing. What does Stephanie bring to this team, and how big of an addition could she be to this roster? Yeah, I mean, Steph brings a lot to this team, especially um, – Having Mo and B last year really stepping up into those big positions, but just adding Steph as well, um, kind of someone else who can uh, get in the paint, guard the bigs, and um, obviously knock down some threes, which will help as well, kind of spread the defense out a little bit. How did competing in that three and three tournament help you and Lex and Emily and I just different setting, you know, learning to play each other? Yeah, I mean, three on three is uh, a lot different than five on five for sure. Um, it's a lot faster pace, and a lot of five on five doesn't necessarily translate to three on three, but the three on three translates to five on five is kind of weird like that. But uh, just the phys physicality of it and the pace that it is. So when you get out here and in, into a five on five game, you're going to compete, you're going to be physical, you have to kind of hold your own ground, and you kind of learn that through the three on three. Why is getting a degree in education, wanting to be a teacher, what? What appeals to you about that? Uh, I mean, it's not necessarily all about teaching academics, but also um, like the mental uh, strength. I'm blanking on my words now. But like the growth mindset. I mean, a lot of kids, and they don't see it now, they'll be struggling with a math problem or reading or something, and they don't see uh, that if they keep practicing and working at it, they're going to get better. And they don't see that long jump that they'll make but they're taking these little steps that eventually they'll be able to see the, uh, all their work kind of pay off. And it's hard for them to see at the time. And a lot of the kids struggle and they'll give up and you just have to keep reminding them, it's all right. I mean, and a lot of what I do when I'm in there, I'm telling them like, when I picked up a basketball for the first time, I, I just wasn't all of a sudden all American. Like it took a lot of practice, a lot of work. And they, they kind of can connect a little bit with that, that most teachers don't have. And, uh, it's kind of really cool to see their process as they go and their mind working in different ways. What grades are you teaching? 
Uh, I was with fifth grade in Indianola, and now I'm with fourth grade in Boone. So. How much fun is it with those kids? Uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, they have a lot of energy, a lot of personality, so just getting to work with them and see them kind of grow throughout the year is really fun. My sister was a teacher at high school. 